Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Resident Rise. <laughs> How y'all guys doing today? You know, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm just chilling out at the base, doing some other stuff, <laughs> doing some things. You know, last episode, we were fighting those Chaos Dragons. We had so much fun killing that dragon. Yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. But yeah, I'm so glad we were able to kill that thing, because we were able to get the hearts that we needed, so we could do the thing we are going to be doing this episode. <laughs> Also, I, you know, I just wanted to point out really quick that I'm sorry for not having a video out on Friday. Yeah, work, it was because I got home really late Tuesday and I didn't have time to record and I had to work on Friday. So, I'm really sorry guys. I try not to let it do it again, I'm sorry. But anyways, <clears throat> let's get to do into what we want to do. I've already got most of the stuff crafted up and to do the ritual... You know, because I really, I want to at least try to get the Staff of Power this episode. I don't know if we're going to be able to, but I want to give it my best shot. Because that Staff of Power is awesome, and I just want that thing. So, anyways, if we go to the place in the book where it has the ritual information to get the Draconic, the Draconium, I think that's what it's called, the Draconium, you can see we're going to need the Dragon Hearts. We're also going to be needing... 4 to 16 Draconic Cores, which I've already made up. They're not that hard. They're not that expensive. Just a couple diamonds. And, let's see. Individual activity. Um, basically, the way the ritual works is you take the hearts, which I think I have still in here. Heart. Yeah, I can do up to three of them. So, unfortunately, I will not be able to use... I will not be able to get all four. I was wanting to do four today. I might end up having to go kill off some more dragons off screen. <laughs> But anyways, uh, the way I did the charging for this Draconian blocks, as you can see, they have a little bit of charge in them. The way I was doing it was I would be I was using my capacitor bank, and it makes it really easy to charge things up. So you just stick it in there, gets a giant deflux of power. You can see it, and then all of them get charged, and it's super super quick. And I and you know it drains my power up pretty 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 fast, but. Since we have over 5 billion in storage, we were able to get easily get a bunch of charged draconium blocks. And I just really think these blocks look really cool. I just really like the, co the color of them. They just, look, they just look so cool. So let's go ahead and grab these back up. Oh, broke the base. Where'd he go? Gimme! And fixed. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead. Um, Let's go ahead and go down here. Oh. There we go. And I want to just do it over here because this because I'm, I'm using tiny TNT instead of regular TNT because it's supposed to have like a lesser blast radius and you know I'm really worried I've never done this before because I'm afraid that the TNT is gonna blow up my heart and I don't want that to happen because these things are expensive you have to kill dragons to get these hearts so you ready guys you ready to do this <sighs> okay so Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We're not ready. We're not ready. I need a flint and steel. Do I have flint and steel? Uh, did I fail? Let me just get one out of here. Flint. Thank you. I don't ever use my tablet anymore. I'm really glad I stopped using that thing because it's a little cheaty. So, okay. First things first. We're going to need to throw this on the ground. Oh. Are you guys having a good day? I'm having a really good day. I don't remember if I said that at the beginning of this episode. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's Monday. You know, fun day. <laughs> you know, Mondays are really fun days sometimes, but they're not fun days on other times. Well, yeah, you just have to make sure you gotta... You just gotta make sure that you make it a fun day if it's not being a fun day. So, anyways, I just wanted to point that out. Make sure I said that. Okay, enough stalling. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so apparently as soon as we light this TNT, it's supposed to blow up. Well, of course, it's TNT. And then the heart will become a heart. Oh, well. That didn't work. So let's go grab some regular TNT. I didn't want to use regular TNT. I was afraid that it... Uh, because regular TNT just makes too much of an explosion. TNT. Do I have any in here? Yeah, I do. So let's grab... I have two here. Hmm. I bet you I can make more. Do I? I bet you I've got tons of gunpowder. So TNT. I was looking up TNT earlier, as you saw when uh, we started the video, because I was trying. I was wanting to use tiny TNT because I didn't know how to use tiny TNT, but <laughs> we can't use tiny tiny TNT. So let's try this one more time. <laughs> let's go over here. I'm really scared. I don't want. The, I don't want to lose my heart. So let's go ahead and put this down right next to it. Okay. As soon as this thing blows up, 
I have to throw the draconic cores, all 16 of them, and then throw, and then quickly, as soon as it starts uh, sucking these up, place four of these blocks down. So here we go. Here we go. Please work. Oh, cool, it's working. So let's go ahead and throw those down. Let those get sucked up. There we go. Place these four down. It looks like it's working. It's working. It's working, yay! <laughs> We're gonna get Jerconium. We're gonna get Jerconium. We're gonna get Jerconium. We're... I hope I'm saying that right. Jerconium. We're gonna get some Jerconium. <laughs> Come on, work. Go faster. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Had a little bit of an explosion, but there it is! We got Draconium! Awaken Draconium blocks. So that's super awesome, and then you can take these blocks, of course, and then turn them into the ingots. And we have Awaken Awakened Draconium. So that's really cool. So now we have awakened draconium ingots, and then we can use these to make the awakened cores, the whatever that is, a hoe, a draconium whore, the axe, the bow. I'll probably be making this soon because I really need a new bow. A pickaxe, of course, that's going to be in the use for the crafting of the um, what's it called? Staff of power, and that's the thing that I want. I want this thing. I really, really want the staff of power. I really want this thing. So. And of course, you can upgrade your armor, the Draconic armor, and I can't wait to do that either, because, oh my god, that armor's so overpowered. So, um, let's go ahead, I want to go ahead and do the next one. So now that I know how it works, I'm not worried too, I'm not worried anymore about it blowing up my stuff. So, boom. There we go, throw these down. As soon as that sucks up, I'll place these four down. Sweet. Bam, 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 bam. And then these four. I know this is most this is the most exciting thing you guys have ever witnessed, haven't you? <laughs> so while this thing's going, I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit, see how you guys are doing. I hope every one of you are having a wonderful day so far, even though I've already said that. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the episodes. So let's go ahead and tear this up. You know, I'm really enjoying Resident Rise, and you know, there's a lot of different things in Resident Rise that I haven't done yet, and I'm just, uh, you know, I really I'm enjoying the series as a whole, and. It's such a great mod pack. It has a bunch of really good mods in it. Let's go ahead. Not miss this one. So, boom. And boom. Suck it up. Suck it up. There we go. And then let's place these four down. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Sweet. But yeah, I'm really enjoying Resident Rise. It's such a great mod pack. I highly recommend it for you guys if you haven't played it yet. I really need to update it. I keep getting that screen to update whenever I open the 18 launcher. Uh, I haven't updated yet. I'm afraid, kinda, because I don't know what they're gonna add. So that's gonna be a thing in the future. I plan on doing that pretty soon. More draconium. I might end up having to go get make more hearts because I only got a little over a stack and a, a little over a stack and a half. And I don't know how much this is going to make. So let's go ahead and start doing some crafting with these guys. I want to do some crafting. Let's see. Um, I'm going to need a couple different things. I'm going to need my pickaxe, shovel, bow. First things first, I'm going to do staff of power. So I'm going to need my sword. So let's craft this. This thing's already charging back up. That's good. Hopefully the metadata value doesn't bother it at all. So... Get rid of that. Don't need this. Don't need that. Nope. 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 Throw those in there. I'll keep the bow for right now because I don't plan on doing the bow yet. So let's go ahead and do Dracon... Draconic. I, I keep calling it. It's Draconic, not Draconic. Or Draconium. So let's go ahead and do the sword first. We're going to need a Wavern Core, which means we're going to... Oh my god. We're going to need so many Wither Stars. Nether Stars. Um, how many Nether Stars do we have? Well, this is awkward. Do we really not have a single nether star? Hmm. Star. We don't have a single nether star. So, can you make nether stars? I really don't feel like killing withers. Nether. Can you make these things? Um. Is this a thing? I feel like this isn't a thing. Uh, uncharged. Oh, so you can make uncharged nether star. I don't get it. Can you actually do that recipe? Hold on. Soul sand bow. Doesn't look like you can. I think that might be peaceful only. 
I think that is peaceful only because I've seen that before. So I'm probably gonna have to do some wither fights off screen. And I don't want to bore you guys with that because I've, I've already done it many, many times. And of course, we just got done doing a wither fight in vanilla. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to cut really quick, do some wither fights. I'm not going to bore you guys with it. And then I'll be right back. And then we can start doing more draconium stuff. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit, guys. All right, welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we're down in the mine. I got all our stuff all made up. Got the sword, got the pick, and got the shovel. So I wanted to demonstrate the pick out for you guys before I went ahead and make the amazing stuff of O penis. So let's go ahead and do, you know, it could be a regular pick. You know, boring regular pick. Then it can do a 3x3, three three, which is kind of cool. 3x3, three three, this is what the wavering thing could do. So that's not bad at all. So 3x3 three three is really cool. But anyways, next level, it could do a 5x5, five five, which is amazing. I really love that it could do a 5x5, five five, which is super, super cool. But... It can also do a 7x7, seven seven, <laughs> which is completely amazing. I just love the fact that it could do a 7x7. Seven seven. Anyway, so the, like the shovel can do that too. You can do a 1x1, one one, a 2x2, two two, no, 1x1, 3x3, 5x5, and 7x7. Seven seven. So that's really cool. So if we go back to the base really quickly, I'm just, I'm really jittery about this because I haven't had, I haven't had the pleasure of using the, dra the Draconic Staff of Power. Goodness. Today has been a weird day. <laughs> it's just been a really weird day, so... If we go in here, I want to go ahead and make the Staff of Power. We should have... Oh, we're missing something. We are missing another Awakening Core. Which means we are missing... Why is it we're always missing something? We're missing these cores. Which means we're missing... These cores. 64. I'm one of those people that just does 64 of everything. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put those in there. And then make one of these. Put that in there. And then, bam. Of course, Draconium. Pick. Sword. Shovel. Staff of Power. Oh my goodness. We did it. We got the Staff of Power! <laughs> okay. So now that we have the Staff of Power, basically what it does is it is literally a sword a pickaxe and a shovel all in one tool and it's amazing I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there it is one of the most overpowered tools I've ever seen in my life it is completely broken it is so stupidly overpowered it's not even funny and I will go ahead and demonstrate it first hand first things first let's just go ahead and do no I always push that wrong button let's go ahead and just do attack AoE Attack AoE is that thing, you know, with the sword, you can do a 3x3 three three attack AoE, AoE, which is amazing. A sword can hit in a 3x3 three three area. Well, this thing can do a 5x5, 7x7, 9x9, 11x11, 13, 15, 17, 20. It goes all the way up to 25x25 25 25 area. And it... What are you doing right there? Um, you go down here. Thank you. Anyway, no, bad. There you go. But yeah, it can do a 25 by 25 attack AoE. That's insane. That means it can attack in a 20 by, by 25 block radius. So I could just, let's see, um, this pig, is there another thing anywhere close? I need somewhere where there's like a bunch of animals. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. So if we go over here, oh look, a bunch of stuff. Watch this. Sorry, cow. I just lagged out like big time. It killed everything in that little in that little area. So watch. That's just super cool. I just love that. That's really really cool. So anyways, that's a cool thing about it. It has attack AO AOE of a of a 25 by 25, which is amazing. Plus, it has 60 damage, 60 attack damage, which means that it gets a that's a 60 attack damage. If you don't know how insane that is. Our sword that we uh, that I really love is a 22.5. So this is three times stronger, and it doesn't even have sharpness on it. Wait till I get done with this thing. Ah, <sighs> I've been putting this off because it is comp. I just let's go ahead and go down. It's insta pick for just. It's literally. I'm flying and it's insta pick. This, I can't. I can't. 
poor things. They don't. They don't understand. They don't understand what they just. They just got themselves into. Let's go ahead and put this away. This away. This away. This away. This away. I want to do something really quick. Do. Let's see. Where's it at? Void junk. True inventory. If it has this void junk option, which means you can set an item inside the void junk filter, and whenever it picks up an item of that same thing, like if it picks up, if I mine cobble, if I mine dirt, it'll automatically void it. I won't pick it up. It will be gone, which is amazing, especially if you're like strip mining. So it has an attack. It has an attack AOE of 25 by 25. It has a mining AOE of one by one, three by three, five by five. 7x7 seven seven, and 9x9. Nine nine. That's awesome. I, I That's just amazing. 9x9 nine nine and it's insta pick. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. This is. Uh, I can't. This is so stupid. Look at this. <laughs> I don't even get it. Why? Why would you need something this powerful? Ooh, look, diamonds. But that's not it, ladies and gentlemen. You thought that was it. A 9x9 nine nine insta mine. That's amazing. But what if, hypothetically, we're talking about a 9x9 nine by 9. By nine. What about that? Instamine. A 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine Instamine. Broken. My god. This thing is so broken. Look, it's just, it tore it. This thing is a world eater. I'm, oh, we're getting cobbled. That's weird. I, I guess the void junk, is it off? Did I set it off? It should be working. Void junk, true. Oh, weird. It must be broken. I just, I need a minute. Why would Draconic Evolution make something like this? I mean, I get the point. The the thing itself, I'm not... I'm going to be using this thing, of course. It It's so expensive. That's the reason I think that it's so powerful. Because you not only have to get Draconium, which means that you are going to have to kill dragons, which means you're going to have to kill the Chaos Dragon, which is completely a broken monster. It's complete... It's really powerful. You need practically Wavering Armor to kill the thing. And that takes a bunch of nether stars. Plus, this thing takes a bunch of nether stars. So I get why it's so powerful, but there's limits to everything, guys. I just... I don't get it. It's so amazing. Ow. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. So anyways, that is the Staff of Power, everybody. We have the Staff of Power now. So let's go ahead. Let's just go back to the surface. Why not? Let's just go to the surface. Just, <laughs> just, it's just, oh my goodness. Remember when we had this huge hole in the ground and I had to use the filler to get it? We could have done it in seconds with the freaking staff of power. That's so amazing. Look at all this stuff just laying on the ground. I love it. I love it to death. I love this thing. It's so cool. So let's go back to the base. Let's clear out all this junk. Oh my goodness, uh, now that we have the Staff of Power pretty much, pretty much broken, completely broken, completely. So, I love it. I love every bit of it because this game is all about becoming overpowered. You know, with quarries, with Emmy systems, which is practically an infinite chest, um, with unlimited resources, basically that's what we have right now. We have farms that automated, completely automation right there that has almost unlimited of anything that I put in there which can be just about any item staff of power which can break blocks which by the way really quick before I make a giant mistake let's go ahead and turn the safe mode on that's gonna keep me from mining blocks like I don't know I don't know what it considers a safe block other than not a safe block so it might be considered like machines and stuff let me just also get rid of that and put that back to one by one and put this back to one so I don't screw up and tear up my base <laughs> that would suck like I did that with the uh, the bound the bound pickaxe imagine if I did it with this thing my god the destruction but anyways what I'm gonna head, what I'm gonna go ahead and do 
is I'm going to go enchant this thing up, see what it's all about, all up in enchanted, and then I'm going to be right back with you guys, okay? <laughs> I'm going to process all this in my mind, what I just got my hands up. This is so powerful. This thing is so powerful. I'll see you in a bit, guys. All right, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> we are out of time, unfortunately. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. You know how much I love it. I'm so glad that we got the Staff of Power. The Staff of Power is super awesome and super overpowered. And I'm really, really enjoying it and using it and having fun with it. Next episode, we're probably going to dive into the armor and stuff and start showing off all that fun stuff. And maybe we might do some more Chaos Dragon fights. I haven't decided because there are some other things that you know I might want to get into with uh, Draconic Evolution. And it's probably going to take more Draconium. So that's going to be a thing for the future. Um, what else? Um, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the channel and what maybe could be coming future-wise for the channel. I don't really have, like, a set, you know, channel updates or stuff like that. I, I don't really do, like, channel updates yet. You know, I haven't really, uh, thought of doing one, but, you know, I might end up needing to do one soon, because... We're at that point where, you know, Resident Rise has been going strong for a while. You know, I've been doing that every couple days, and I'm enjoying doing that. But uh, Resident Rise is just, I'm running out of, uh, really, to be honest, I'm running out of core mods to do. And I'm really enjoying Draconic Evolution with all the fun stuff. And, you know, once we update, because I still need to update it, hopefully I'll be able to get some new mods in here and stuff. Because I've been wanting to dive into... I see two, and then there's a bunch of other mods in here that I've never done before. Like, I've never messed with Mechanism. I've never messed with uh, Witchery, which is a magic mod. I've never messed with a lot of different mods and stuff like that. And, you know, stuff of that, some of that stuff might be coming in the future. I don't know. Also here lately, I've been, uh, you know, browsing Steam and stuff and looking through a bunch of cool games. I actually picked up a couple games the other day. I picked up both Terraria and The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and I've been really enjoying Isaac. I've been enjoying that game so much. It's been so fun. And, you know, I've been contemplating, you know, recording some for you guys, and I just want to hear what you have to say about that. Do you guys like Terraria? Do you guys like Binding of Isaac? I really, really enjoy playing both of those games, and... Uh, no, I'm not that good at Isaac, Binding of Isaac yet. I mean, I've beaten so I've really, you know, I'm pretty good at it, but I'm not like the best player ever. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I want to hear your thoughts on it. Question, comment, smart remarks down in the, the comment section of the down there. You know I love any kind of interaction that comes with you guys. I really love hearing your feedback because this is just as much as your channel it is mine. I have, I say that a lot, and really I just want to play the games that you guys want to see. If you guys want to continue seeing Resident Rise, let me know. If you guys want to see something different, let me know. Because I've been, uh, I've been contemplating also picking up like Ark Survival, uh, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Anyways, but you know what I'm talking about, dinosaur game. Super awesome looking, super fun looking. I just, I've been contemplating picking that up i don't know if my computer can handle recording that game because um i've been hearing some war stories from drax about his computer not liking it and he's got a way better computer than i do so anyways that's in the mix maybe 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 not who knows but anyways i'm done babbling i just wanted to get that out there let you guys know what's on my mind what's going through you know the mind of the valentine just wanting to hear your feedback so anyways i'll see you guys next time Bye, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. See ya.